And here's this quiet woman who hardly told stories, begins to tell a couple stories of her own life. And she says, you guys, you know this stroke, it, it, it's been hard. It's kept me in the house more than I want. It's been a struggle, but it's not stopped me. It's slowing me down, but I'm never going to let it stop me. And when Grandma would walk, she'd walk like this. And then she begins to tell us the story that she had something terrible pop up in her life, and it was painful. And she said, I just wanted to share it with all of you at Christmas. I have a terrible case of hemorrhoids. <laughs> and we start laughing, and we're losing it. And so we're imagining this, because she says, but I'm a self-reliant woman. I learned on the farm how to take care of myself. I found my way to the bathroom. I opened the medicine cabinet. I found the preparation H, and I applied it. And instantly, I realized I put the wrong thing on. I put Icy Hot on my hemorrhoids. So grandma's been gone many, many years, but you want to know something? She's still right here. My mom's been gone 13 years. She's still right here. How many of you share those kind of stories? How many of you laugh? How many of you are going to leave here starting to make sure that you get your uh, 11 RDA, your 11 good laughs every day? My son Nick, when he was three years old, it was about 3.30 in the morning, I love this kid dearly. I hear his voice go, <gasps> and I look up. There wasn't one, but there were two strangers in our home, two burglars. They, were, they had broken into our home. My son's room's across from the hallway, and I hear him being frightened, being scared. I don't believe in cussing. My mom, growing up Catholic, if we cuss, we got the soap in your mouth treatment. <laughs> when those men were in our home and I realized what was happening, I catavolted out into the hallway. I cussed in probably three or four different languages that I just made up at very high volumes. One guy was freaked out. He went out the front door. Another guy ran out the back door, called the cops. They came. They left. and went back to my room, and there's my son kneeling on his bed. And I said, Nick, are you okay? I said, Nick, did you get scared? And he said, Dad, I'm okay. I did not get scared. But, Daddy, my teeth got scared. <laughs> And then it happened. He said, Dad, they started shaking and they wouldn't stop. And he went, oh. <laughs> Here's what I want to do in wrapping all this up. If we want better for others, we have to start with ourselves. If we want more for others, we have to start for ourselves.